The other thing, take a listen to Sam Monson um, from P PFF NFL show um, on the Deshaun Watson injury. It's more how they frame the whole thing for every step of the process that's weird. Like it's not the the just the basic fact step by step facts of how this thing worked fits in with a lot of injuries in the NFL. It's more that they there's been this report constantly that he's been medically cleared and weeks ago and yada yada, whereas actually he <laughs> has been properly injured and he hasn't been ready to go. And he's not just it's not a pain thing only. He's actually there's like weakness involved in the shoulder as well as pain. Like he's hurt. He's injured. So he probably shouldn't have been out there at any point, and he never should have been cleared, whatever the hell that actually means, because he wasn't ready to go back in the game because he's injured. And now he's re-injured, and you just, you're stuck with this weird spot where we're like, what the hell is going on with this thing? Because all the reports have been saying he's been good to go for like a month. It's just, it's a strange, I don't understand how that part of it became such a relevant factor. And I agree with them. The way it's been framed, um, it's been it's been mishandled by the organization. Whether it was not a proper diagnosis, however you want to handle it, or whatever you want to say about it, the information that came out initially didn't tell you the extent of the injury. Yeah, it was like we were getting conflicting reports. Like there for a while, Deshaun Watson wasn't speaking to the media. But, you know, we would hear what Stefanski said versus what Andrew Barry said during the bye week. Like, they were different things. And uh, they didn't get an MRI until that first sat right before the Baltimore game because they thought he was going to be completely fine. So there was some maybe some potential misdiagnosis. Just they really weren't up for I feel like this week was the first week they were just really uh, I don't know, like honest with us. And we're just like, Hey, yeah, you know, this is what's going on. There's a tear. Um, you know, he re injured it. We thought he could put some strength behind the ball going into the Colts game. He couldn't. So here we are in a situation where he just absolutely could not play. It's a hundred percent. The way it was communicated, it just, if they would have just told us out front, honestly, if they told us out front and just put them on IR, we would have never had this circus. And that's why I really appreciated this week when they just ruled him out on Wednesday. We're not going to talk about it all week. We know he's not going to play. We're just going to say he's not going to play. And it's just this team, I think, does everything right when it comes to injuries, except for at the quarterback position. Because you have the situation, same thing with Baker Mayfield. Now you have it with Watson, where it's like, they'll hold guys out. I saw them hold Nick Chubb out for a minor knee sprain because they didn't want to make it worse. So they've really done – that's what is so frustrating is they've really done everything the right way on this roster and dealing with injuries except for at the quarterback position. If they were just a little more honest with us and just laid it on the table, I think there would be a lot less people upset right now.